Hey guys, so we are in Max Tech Power by Bold Trail. And I just wanted to do a quick overview of your dashboard. If you're brand new to the platform, for sure, one of the first things I would tell you to do, one, you get a little checklist down on this bottom left of things that you should be doing. Once that's done, I highly recommend doing the agent quick start. It's about an hour and a half. I just say there's quick videos. I think the longest one may be like eight to 10 minutes, but it really is going to help you get to know the dashboard. There's more tools than you'll ever use, especially inside of Max Tech. That opens a whole new world, not just the basics. You have a lot of additional stuff, but using doing the agent quick start, it's going to help you navigate through all of the different tools because you won't use everything. You just need to find what works for you as far as all the additional bells and whistles. But when we're over here, the what I would recommend, obviously the agent quick start, um, when you come over to your profile, if I click on my profile right here, you're going to see my information. Now, if I click on edit, you're going to see a lot of boxes are gray. It's like, but I can't add anything because when you watch any of those tutorials for the very basic beginners, when it comes to bull trail, they're going to have you edit your profile. If you're using Max Tech, those will all accept for YouTube. That is all pulling over from your profile inside of Max Center. So it's a little different. So I do want to show when you're over in Max Center. So you have your Max Center and you come right here, you go to update profile. That takes you to your profile. That's where you have all your information, your name, blah, 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 all of you know your bio, all your links, all of that. I will say when it comes to your website, your default underneath your name is going to have a title. By default, most will say associate. So a lot of people, are, that's one of the first questions, like, why does it say associate? I wanted to say something else. Go over to your general, your name and title. It's actually pulling from your title. So whatever you want your name to display and then your job title is under it. If you do not have anything in here, most likely it'll say associate. I believe New York had something like licensed real estate agent or something long like that. So for sure, if you wanna change the title, but make sure your contact information, all of your links, your photo, bio, everything, that's going to syndicate across all the Remax platforms inside of your internet and Max Center. So you wanna make sure that is as full as possible. So when you're in your Max Tech and you see all these grayed out areas, know that is automatically pulling over from your Max Center profile. So that's where a lot of times people get confused on that part. So there are a couple places that I do want you to pay attention to. One, if you have YouTube, manually put it in. If there's a white spot, we can do something. So here, vanity email address. We used to just be able to put our Gmail, Outlook, whatever the case may be, and you still can. But Google made all these changes back in February, so a lot of our mails, anything coming from a third party, kind of goes into spam. To try to help prevent that, your Remax email address is not a true, it's just a forwarding email. So if you have your own domain or any email, but they prefer you to have a vanity. So I have an email like for your website, I have my emails associated with that. So put that in there, use the vanity email address for all of my emails. And then I wanna come down here and do your signature. I literally, this is from, what do I, stamp? I just went into my Gmail, opened up a new email, copied and pasted, and it keeps my little giphy thing and whatever, all that fun stuff. Copy, paste right into that signature block, and then make sure, include your signature on all outgoing email. So I want you to do that. So once you have your profile, you're gonna save it. I don't think I made any changes. Make sure everything's kind of pulling in there. Come over to your settings. This is just a little, a couple things. So you can make your contacts private. 
you, which means, so by default, all your leads are private. If I were to open up my CRM to not just show my contacts, but because I'm an admin, I can see my agents in my office. They all say private. So if an agent comes to me like, Heather, I'm having a problem. How do I find this, this, and this? When we had conversion, KV Core, like independently, my agents didn't do that because then they know I, I wouldn't be able to help them. But it's completely up to you. So it's private. You can hide contacts from teams. So that would be if you're on a team and you don't want your team leader seeing um, the leads. And this only goes with leads that you generate. So if they do come from the office, I can see the information. Uh, same thing with on a team site. But for the most part, everything always shows private. If you don't want leads, you can always mark yourself on vacation. I say don't do that unless you're definitely not going to have a phone because that's a referral opportunity. And I will say 90% of the agents will be, Heather, I'm not getting leads anymore. What happened? They turned themselves on vacation. They got back from vacation and forgot to turn themselves back on. So I say not to do that. You probably don't want to be placed out of rotation. I, of course, I don't want leads. So I'm out of, out of there. Um, statuses to receive calls. This is, if you want, they will, you can get an email every morning and it'll tell you basically the tasks that you should be doing. So you can say, okay, I want you to tell me who to call within these different statuses. So you have all of, you know, your sphere, all of these. For me, the most important is a prospect, a new lead, and actively. Those are all of the incoming leads that you're getting based on their journey. So watch the video on the client's journey to understand um, when that changes. So those are the three. Yes, go ahead and tell me what to do. I want you to tell me five people to call every day. I'm dedicated to do that. Send that email at nine. And then do you want to have them sent on the holidays or not? So once you set this up, you can just click save. So that's really, as far as your dashboard, without getting too overwhelming, I do want you to go to the dashboard. There are so many amazing things. I want you to finish that agent quick start guide. You actually get a certificate for doing that. Um, just some other things. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Nope. Right here, you have kind of like your tasks and things that you should be doing. So you'll get that emails. Um, if you wanted to connect your Outlook or Gmail, you can certainly do that. When it comes to the part, do you want your emails to come into the system? I usually would not recommend that because then all of this is every one of your emails. And if you're anything like me, I get way too many emails. I don't, I want this to be focused on my sphere, my clients, you know, stuff like that. So I wouldn't recommend syncing your entire Gmail. However, your calendar, your contacts, all of that, absolutely yes, do it. But when it, it will prompt you, do you want to go ahead and bring your emails into the system? And personally, for me, that makes this way too cluttered and it makes me, I'll miss out on the good things because when you're on your dashboard, you have all these fun things right here. Oh, let me unhide that. Oh, that's my task. Okay. So Here's any announcements. So you can see here we have, we do a bi-weekly Zoom. So that's where the recordings are. Then of course we have just different resources that we have available for the agents. These are announcements that your office can be adding. So always check that. Same thing with the company cloud. Maybe they have links here that may help you whether go to Remax University or anything else that they may have. So check it out, see if they have anything. If you're an admin, you'll see that edit button here or the company cloud, you'll see add. So if you're an admin, for sure, add some links on here, add your announcements, upcoming classes, all of that fun stuff. Do it. It's always great. Your objectives. Um, I don't really mess with that. The building your pipeline, it's basically going to help you build everything. I always go to my playbooks for that. But here, promote listing. Oh, I love this feature. So check out the video. I don't want to get too, I will go down a rabbit hole talking about how cool this is. So 
promoting a listing, you can get squeeze page links, landing page links, you can email your office, you can email your people, anybody that you have in the system. There's lots of different things that you can do when you go to promote a listing. If you have an admin, maybe, hey, click on the playbook and follow those. You know, I think there's seven action items that you can do to help promote a listing. Gather your sphere. That's going to be important because that is going to help you get all of your contacts into the system. So if I open the playbook, you'll see like import, capture, create, automations and alert. It literally walks you through it. If you do not want to really mess with anything and you want them to do it, that's good because they'll do it for you. It'll, you'll submit a file, they'll ask a couple questions, and then you have the do it yourself. So that's, you're good, you have a spreadsheet, make sure everything's kind of broken down into different columns, but you can import it, match those fields and get it in there, or they'll do it for you. So pretty simple. And then when it comes to the playbooks on working your spirit, it's going to be a lot of different ideas on how to fill in the gaps and all of that kind of fun stuff. So definitely once you're done with the agent quick start, you've done your bio, definitely check out these playbooks. They're awesome. Of course, if you're looking for more, you're an overachiever, you can always go to view the live calendar. They're probably, this is going to be inside real estate for bull trail. They are probably doing uh, about four classes a day, as you can see. Look at all these classes. They're awesome. I mean, that's a ton of classes. That's every single day for me. And here's like bull trail, you know, orientation. So you can click on that. You can see there's, they're always doing it. Me, I register, I'll get the replay link and then I watch it because I get up at three. So that's when I'll do it. So for sure, if, if you like one of these and you want to watch it, watch it live. It is great when you can interact. And I know I went to the Unite conference and it was pretty cool to be able to meet all the trainers that I see on video and they recognize the name like, oh, I remember, you know, I've seen that name on, on the Zooms and webinars. So that was pretty cool. But if you don't, you know, have time, I completely get it. Register for it. You'll get the replay link. It, it's awesome. Lots of great, great, great stuff. I mean, you can see the amount of classes is crazy, crazy. So you can always do those. And then, of course, let me see. Oh, let me move my face because I think there's a more button here. This is also equally important. You have different other e-paths. You have Remax University. Go there. You're going to go straight to Remax University. They do a phenomenal job. They have tons and tons and tons of classes. They may not be on Bold Trail, but it's very similar. So definitely take classes. We're all redoing all of our videos now that we have that new look. So go in, check it out. And remember, homework is doing your profile, feel making sure that your Max Center profile is up to date. Then go in, do that agent quick start, see if there's any other classes, work on updating your contacts, getting your contacts in here because there's so many amazing things we're going to talk about. You, I have videos that are sending mass emails, setting up smart campaigns, all of that. I just don't want to overwhelm you too much. I just want this as a quick, brief overview of your dashboard. Hopefully you found it enlightening and see you on the next video. Bye guys.